Like many nations around the world, Israel is constantly faced with cyber threats and attacks. And so it has developed special expertise in the field, exhibited at a conference in Tel Aviv, which have made it one of the world's best in cyber defense. Unlike regular terrorism, which is out in the open, cyber attacks are unexpected, unseen, unapproachable, unknown. Do you feel safe? Israel attacked all the time. It's non-stop, especially with cyber uh, uh, wars. Cyber wars are under the radar. You don't see them. Even when there's a ceasefire, they continue to, to happen. Right now, we are under attack all the time. Israel is uh, one of the most advanced countries in the world with regard to first understanding the issues of cybersecurity and definitely with the security capabilities and defense capabilities. Um, we, in, in all uh, international reports, we are graded as one of the leaders, uh, one of the top three leaders in the world. With a large investment in startup technology geared towards cyber defense, the Israeli government is actively protecting itself. We shouldn't be afraid at all, again, uh, from the cyber or cyber attacks. We should look at cyber as a great opportunity. And I think the first one to identify it was Prime Minister Netanyahu. The minute he decided that we should establish the Israeli Cyber National Bureau, he gave us the first task, make Israel a leading country in cyber defense. Together with the Ministry of Economy, we uh, allocated a sum of 80 million Israeli shekels in order to support Israeli companies to lead this market. CyberGym's vision is to prepare you for the most complex cyber attack scenarios by gaining practical skills, knowledge and experience. These days, cyber attacks are the popular form of attacking a nation, an organization or an individual. Therefore, a cyber gym has been created in order to train companies and personnel how to deal when it does indeed occur in real time. We train people to understand what it means to be under attack, to recognize that they're under attack, and when they recognize what to do and more important, what not to do. Not just teaching people, but training them, letting them go through the motions, doing the cyber push-ups in order to get better at it, so when an actual attack occurs, they will be able to defend themselves. Such is the case for Israel's Electric Corporation, a non-governmental corporation most attacked in the country. Israel Electric Corporation is actually one of the single most attacked bodies in the world, which is not the governmental, which means we get sometimes up to 130,000 attacks per week on the uh, infrastructure and on the technology that it uh, uh, sort of manages. In a Tel Aviv conference dedicated to the study of cybersecurity and defense, professional hackers hired to hack into private and public organizations in order to address their weaknesses admitted to how easily it can often be to penetrate the private and secure confines of an institution. It's not so hard to get into organization or to get into websites all over the world. It all depends on how much security they did and what they did in order to defend against this kind of attacks. You can do something called the uh, SQL injection that will lead to get all the information, the usernames, all the passwords, all the uh, credit cards. Today there are lots of tools all over the internet. If you will Google hacking tool, you will get lots of tools that you can download and use it in order to attack. However, disaster control and recovery is just as simple when trained professionals are to be found in Israel. Israel is uh, one of the biggest country in cyber because we have a lot of people that are dealing with cyber. We understand what is the attack. We're always afraid that somebody can attack us. So they know how to defend against these kind of attacks and build a very high level in order to make the attack very hard to do. I believe that Israel is good in defending, but it's always good to train and to learn new techniques and to be, I would say, more exposed to what's happening globally because not all the time uh, we in Israel know exactly what's going on in other places in the world. So that gives Israeli hackers the ability to learn uh, more techniques from one hand and more protection layers that enable uh, organizations to protect themselves well against such an attacks. We need to have an international collaboration in order to do two main things. The first one, to share information with each other because the same malware can come to us and at the same time coming to a bank in the US. On the other hand, we have to share technology. 
and sharing of technology is one uh, main reason of this conference. This group of hackers behind me was assigned a challenge to break into a company which stole information, hack into its database and steal it back. As I am told, the best defense in cyber war is offense. And with Israel, the front line of this war, excelling at a counterattack is vital for its cyber survival. Sivan Raviv, JN1, Tel Aviv.